A man is behind bars tonight on a $1 million cash bond after human remains of a missing Iowa man were found on his property. Savon Jordan is being charged with first-degree murder and the death of Jonathan Esperanza, who's been missing since late October. ABC6 News reporter Maisie Olson joins us live from Howard County tonight. Maisie, what can you tell us about this investigation? James, Laura, this is a very complex investigation, and right now I'm actually standing at the house of Savon Jordan, where the human remains of Jonathan Esparza were found. Now, I'm in the small town of Elma, Iowa. The population's only about 500 people, but all of the neighbors and community members that I spoke with today say they just had no idea of the horrors that were happening down the street. Johnny was a good, good guy, and uh, he was thoughtful. He cared about people. On the night of October 20, 30-year-old Jonathan Esparza left his home in New Hampton to visit a friend in Elma and was later reported missing, according to the missing person report. Weeks later, on November 11th, Esparza's abandoned car was found. Deputy Sheriff Investigator Richard Hollenbeck says witnesses led the Sheriff's Department and the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation to the home of Savon Jordan. After Esparza was missing for more than a month, on November 30th, a search warrant was executed on Jordan's property. Doing the search warrant in the house, evidence of um, some kind of violent act being committed against another person and then the discovery of the human remains in concert with that evidence we found in the house led us to the probable cause that um, Savon did and Mr. Sparza's life. Investigator Hollenbeck says that the positive ID was crucial in filing the murder charge. The medical, uh, medical examiner's office did uh, give the results of that recently that they concluded it was Mr. Sparza, which gave us the go-ahead to finally file a homicide charge on Savon Jordan. While it's still unknown what exactly happened that October night, Sparza's friends say it's an outcome that nobody expected. We were emotional about it. You know, we were really upset. It just sucks to see somebody that, that we knew in that way. We got to see the fire that he had in him. Uh, it's it's sad to see that snuffed out. A friend in Iowa Central Community College football teammate Cole Bieren says Johnny will be remembered for the kind of person he was. He was somebody, you know, he contributed, he he fired people up and he was a great teammate. And that to me that that carries weight forever. That never goes away. Investigator Hollenbeck says that he does feel confident that law enforcement has the man responsible for the murder of Esparza, but that this investigation is still very much ongoing. He says that investigators still have multiple people that they need to speak with in order to find out what led to the death of Jonathan Esparza. Jordan is expected in court January 23rd. Live in Elma, Maisie Olson, ABC6 News.